Hey, Brandon, what, uh, let's just let's focus on the first half first. What, what was going so well for you guys uh, in the first quarter, in the first, first half especially, to allow you to build that lead? Well, we were getting defensive stops and we were running out. Uh, we were getting easy buckets. Um, getting the ball to who, whoever we needed to get the ball to, we just got the best shot for our team. I think um, the best part about it is we just got stops and we rebranded. and we didn't have to run our offense as much. So we just got some easy buckets. Yeah, we talked earlier about uh, the chemistry you and Zion are learning to kind of build together. I guess what's allowed you guys to get to the point where you are now where y'all are able to consistently put up these games for y'all both are hitting 25 plus, 30 plus in the same game. I think it's just knowing the, the, the game, um, knowing what uh, matchups that we have in, in the third and fourth quarter or, or the first half, and, and just knowing what to go to and, and, and the timing of it. I think um, in these last few games, we we um, just knew the matchup that we wanted to go to. We knew how to attack it, and we knew the result that we was going to get from it, whether it was um, us getting a layup or us getting a three point or whatever it was and we were gonna we were gonna live with the result. Hey Brandon, uh, IT got a little bit of run there in fourth quarter is able to share. I was just curious, you know, what are what are your thoughts on, you know, hit the play within these these past nine days or so? I mean, yeah, he's he's uh, been the ultimate professional. Um, just coming in and doing his job whenever whenever he gets in the basketball game, but also on the on the bench just Giving advice, talking to our younger guys, um, cheering us on, no matter if he gets in the game or not, and, and, and that's big for our team also. Hey Brandon, uh, forgot when it was, but I remember it was on the end one in the corner. I think it was a part where you started that. You had Greg out your, your left leg, you played through it, obviously. But it, is this just the point where you, you get this far in the year where little injuries are going to accumulate and you just got to play through them? Absolutely, especially. Uh, I mean, in my position, um, it, it wasn't nothing too bad. I had to tweak my ankle a little bit, but it's just something that I go treat tomorrow and, and just get prepared for the next game. I think um, as long as my adrenaline is still going and I can be in a basketball game, and I'm going to continue to play. Uh, what did you kind of learn, you know, big picture these last two years and kind of as far as uh, the, the, uh, the demands of being a leader and being that guy everybody kind of looks to, especially in the big moments, uh, I guess, what does that take to kind of live up to and be the guy, you know, everybody wants you to be when they're looking at you? Well, just trying to be the same person every single day. And also with that, just being patient and taking whatever the game brings you. I think uh, I've learned that over these these years of being here is um, every night is not going to present the same thing. And um, I just, had to take it, whether it's on the defensive end, if I'm trying to affect the defense or if I'm uh, making the extra pass on offense, whatever it is that um, that I need to do uh, as a leader, uh, that I have to do that. And um, eventually things uh, come full circle. Hey, Brandon, right here with you. Yeah, I know you would have liked to have one more comfortably, but when they got it down to the seven with about eight and a half still to go, what do you think of the way the team responded from that point until the end? Um, what was key to kind of holding on there? I think we just stayed together. Uh, we knew we was on the second night of a back-to-back, -back and we knew we know that we were playing against a really, really good team. Um, they had some really, really good players, so it was important for us to go down and execute, rebound the basketball, and, and just just stay together and, and knock down the shots that we needed to knock down. And, and free throws helped us out a lot of the basketball game. Less so his free throws. Uh, Najee has been big for us the last two nights. Zion um, is doing what Zion does and just everybody is just filling in. So um, we just did whatever we needed to do coming down the stretch. Thank you, Brandon. Awesome. Thank you.